So guys, today's course log comes to you with a little bit of a twist. All my irons are the same length. Let's do it, and let's do it now. Oh wow. You know which iron am I teeing off with here? You can't tell me, can you? Is it a seven iron? Oh wow. That was a five iron. And it felt fantastic. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your very first time watching my content, make sure you consider hitting that subscribe button. My goal is to bring you daily golf related content that helps you raise your game, lower that handicap, and just improve your overall enjoyment level of golf. Today's video is a little bit different. I'm testing one length irons. Now these irons have only just landed on my desk. I've not spent a lot of time looking into them and there will be a lot more to come on these irons. So again, if you wanna see that and you're not hit that subscribe button already, Make sure you do. First impressions with five iron off the tee. Fairway finder. So 105 yards in, uphill into a little bit of wind. This is a perfect soft pitching wedge. But a pitching wedge at this length, this is where I'm really not sure. How can making a short iron longer help? <whistles> this feels so strange. All I want to do is get closer to it and, and grip down. I'll go with it. Not bad at all there, but I'm really not sure how if I wanted to, how I'd kind of flight it down more. Obviously uphill into the wind there. I tried to just keep the ball lower than maybe a full pitching wedge would. And it just kind of went up. But it's early days. And that is a birdie opportunity, ladies and gents. We even had some backspin as well. Can we birdie the first ever hole with one length irons? Comment below, does this go in? No, but it is a steady greening regulation part. So hit those comments below guys. Would you use one length irons? Have you used one length irons? Do you use one length irons? My dad uses one length irons, but it's really funny because he, he doesn't really use one length irons. He cuts the short ones down. I ridiculed him at the time for it, but actually, after filling that pitching wedge earlier, I don't see why I did it. Now there's not going to be a lot of structure to today's video and I know some of you like that. I'm basically going to play with these bad boys till it goes dark and then I'm going to report back to you what I think. This driver feels a bit long now. I should probably talk to you more about the actual clubs in question, shouldn't I? So the clubs that Cobra have sent me and massive, massive thanks to Cobra for getting these out there. I know it's not been easy for you this year with demand and stuff like that, so huge props to you guys for getting me these. These are the Cobra F8 one length irons. They're not the tall ones, they are the bigger ones, which I imagine most people would be using rather than the real small headed Bryson DeChambeau models. All come in seven iron length, obviously all different lofts, and the shafts actually have different flex points in them, and the shafts actually have different flex points in them to allow for different trajectories. So I've been sent the 5-iron, the 7-iron, the 9-iron and the pitching wedge just to basically test to go and play with. I'm going to do some stuff with Mark, the mid-handicap tester and really just to see, is there something in this? Or is it just a bit of a gimmick? I 
and I guess one of the real positive points of me getting these clubs and bringing them straight out here on the golf course just to give you guys a bit of a first look and a first opinion for myself is I get to ask you, what do you want to see? Do you want to see me put these irons against some comparable standard length iron? Do you want to see me and Mark go out there or just Mark go out there and test these irons for a mid handicap golfer? These aren't pros irons, although they are stiff shafts so that kind of works nicely. Do you want to hear about mainly how they're feeling the short clubs? Or would you rather hear more about the first tee shot that I hit in this video with the 5 iron that went probably 200 yards straight down the middle with a lovely trajectory? Maybe you want to see more launch monitor data. If that's the case, smash those comments below. Let me know what you want to see. 143 yards here. I'm going to go 9 iron. These short irons do feel strained. It's almost like I don't know where to stand or, or how to maybe grip it in the right place. I'm sure after a fitting or even some extensive practice, it might become second nature. But there's not many people use them, is there? Or is there? Comment below. Good distance, but that's gone way right with a 9 iron. And don't get me wrong, because for one second I'm not saying that the reason that ball went right was entirely because of the shaft length. It was because of the pilot. But one thing I'm really interested to see, I mean, I get it, I get the idea, one length throughout the bag, much more consistent setup, should be a lot easier, shouldn't it? But I just don't see, I don't see how the short irons being longer can help. This is why I'm really intrigued to do some testing with them. And I guess I do need to remember that these are the game improvement irons, they're going to be strong lofted. I've not had a chance to check out the lofts yet, but I will be doing that in a more in-depth review. But I must admit, there's never been a product where I've been more interested in your opinion than these one length irons. And I mean that. See that little trick? It's not really a trick, it's just the zoom. Gets the point across though, doesn't it? And I must admit, if you ask me if I'm enjoying this, I'm only a couple of holes in and the answer has to be yeah. I don't know if it's because it's something different, I don't know if it's because it's something new, but I'm enjoying myself with this. But then I guess I just love golf anyway. 143, how easy are these clubs to control? This is just a standard 7-iron in a 7-iron length. Let's see if I can play a short one in there and actually control the ball flight. For game improvement irons, these things look very good, especially down at the golf ball. Now that's another miss to the right with the 7 iron. Let's see if I go full blood and 9 iron and actually commit to a golf shot if I can get these things to work. This feels so weird, but not wrong weird, if that makes sense. That felt really good, but it did come out very low. I don't know if you noticed on the shot tracer, but a 99 for me should go a little bit higher than that, but we can't argue with this. So there we have the 9 iron and the 7 iron. It was pin high, but it's in that bunker. Crazy 
And that is a birdie two with the Cobra one length nine iron. Yeah, the, the first bunker was out of place, so I just thought I'd use the second ball rather than dropping it and come on. I don't know if you can tell guys, but it is getting a little bit dark now. So I'm gonna play one more hole and then we're gonna finish. But if you do wanna see more on these one length irons and just any Cobra products, that will be coming pretty soon hopefully so make sure you hit that subscribe button how good is that going to look by the way for now though this is what we have I would normally try and smash a driver down here but let's be fair I'm quite enjoying hitting these tonight that was an absolute bullet You see, and I'm not sure if it's because ball position is something I've been working on in my own game with my lesson with Chris Ryan Golf. If you've not seen that, I will link it in this video. But I'm really struggling to determine where to stand with the different clubs. That was a five iron, obviously a seven iron length. And that is a lot easier to get used to than a nine iron or a pitching wedge at seven iron length. So, a lot of work to be done here with these clubs for me, but but, but, I've really enjoyed filming this and I've really enjoyed the couple of holes I've been out here with. And if you watch a lot of my videos, you'll know that pretty much that's why we're all out here. Or, well. That's why I'm out here. For the enjoyment. And I know my dad said when he got these clubs it made golf more enjoyable from 140 to 190 yards so if that's what you're looking to improve maybe go check them out apart from that guys i'll hit you one more shot then we'll call it a day and i think that is what is known in the industry as position a this is going to need to be a big one Guys, there might just be something in this after all. If you want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to see more, I'm sorry, but there's a lot more coming. See you soon.